Well, Kavara has just been absolutely sensational this season. He leads the league uh, with assists with 10 and the Georgian flags are just echoed around uh, Naples. And one person that is loving that is two-time NBA champion Zaza Pachulia, who joins us now at live pitch side. Zaza, thank you so much for joining us. You must feel so proud seeing how well Kavara is doing in this league, being from Georgia yourself. I mean, are you quite taken aback by how much love you're seeing for Georgia and for Kavara? Well, listen, I flew from U.S., from San Francisco to here, you know, to come and support my guy, my Georgian guy, my Georgian superstar that is doing amazing and representing the whole country. And, um, you know, it means a lot. Small country like Georgia, you know, four million people. And having a player, uh, the, you know, football player like him, the representing the country and whole nation and inspiring the kids and next generations is awesome to see. So I'm uh, super proud and I can't wait for the game. We've really enjoyed following this story all season long. We've talked about Kavara Air and the planes that have been coming in from Georgia and just how much love he's getting. What is it like? back in Georgia. I mean, uh, what does he mean to the people and how big of an icon is he there? Well, I see so many flags already in the stadium, right? So I was joking with my wife. I said, I think half of the country is here. So it's pretty <laughs> awesome to see. Obviously, you know, you see the, uh, you see the planes are coming, as you mentioned. And I'm not surprised because um, I don't know how much you guys follow basketball, but when I was playing, I got 1.5 million votes in the you know, in NBA uh, voting, you know, so I'm not surprised. Georgians love sport, especially football. We're talking about uh, it's the most popular sport and especially having a player like him uh, playing so good, so well, doing so well. Of course, the whole country is behind him. Hey, hey Zaza, so do you see, can you make any parallels between the NBA or basketball and something you can bring to football, whether it's mentality, whether it's something finding spaces in the field? I mean, we spoke about it earlier that, you know, some football coaches can, can learn a lot from how you create space on a basketball court. Can you, do you see any parallels between the two sports? Yeah, absolutely. There are so many similarities. And first of all, I see this young team, they are a blue collar team. And um, I love how hard they play. I love how, the, how disciplined they are. And uh, they are really well coached. You know, it's so obvious, you know. I'm not a football expert like you guys are, but uh, you know I'm a fan absolutely. So you see a lot of similarities as a professional athlete to to compare to basketball and, and football. So it's fun to watch. I mean, when you have a disciplined team and playing so hard, it's always fun to watch, right? You respect them, you respect the way they play, you appreciate the, uh, this amazing performance they put on the, on the field. Yeah, absolutely. Perhaps the biggest thing is definitely the height difference, isn't it? When it comes to football and when it comes to basketball. But Mateo leaves and, he's, and Zaza shows up. I was hoping exactly. to see, uh, stand next next to. Uh, John Franco, but I don't know. He's keep you staying away. Time. Please, thank you. There you go. There you go. Uh, he's baby. That's my point guard. That's my point guard. We were just talking about Kavara, the sensation, the Georgian uh, sensation. Just in case anybody missed it at home, I mean, just give us a sense of what he means to the Georgian people and the support and the following that he's gained in such a short amount of time. Yeah, I'm not sure where we what was the last word was her from us, but I don't mind repeating because, you know, I'm so excited about today. Honestly, this experience is, is amazing. I played NBA Finals, but this is so special to be here to see so many Georgian flags. And for this guy to get the support from the country, I'm not surprised to be honest because I remember how much they used to support me in the U.S., you know, flying over the seas. But um, he, he deserves it. He earned this moment, and we are super proud, especially a small nation like Georgia, only 4 million people. It means so much for us. We have a representative playing on it on the highest stage, right? And, um, and he's doing amazing. He's doing amazing. And, you know, one of the things I'm super proud of him, he's going to inspire so many people. You know, he's going to inspire the next generations, and, and football is going to be played all over the uh, country. So uh, that's why I'm here, to be honest. And we know that uh, Kabara obviously absolutely just loves football. He lives, he breathes it. What is it like being out on that pitch right now, Gianfranco, when life is life comes on uh, and you remember those incredible scenes of Maradona juggling to this song? Oh, I think uh, it's very difficult to put it in words. Uh, sensations are uh, very strong when you see all these crowds uh, singing and uh, and enjoying the moment and making you feel part of it is is amazing i promise is uh, i played in many places but this is certainly one uh, a special one
And, and also, you should mention Zaza. You started playing football when you were younger, right? That's right. But then your, your your foot got bigger than size 10, and that's it. You lost all the what technical does that mean? ability. You can't play anymore. If no, you no, after, than a size no, no. After size 10, that's it. You have to stop that's playing football. Rule? There's no technical ability. My foot was fine. It's for the height. I was getting too tall. And one of the best bad things happened to me, right? I got kicked out from the team. I said, my coach was like, son, you're in the wrong place. You know, so you should go and play basketball. One of the best advices I got. I'm not sure. I think you and Gianfranco would make a top matchup here if you were to go head to head uh, right now. What about Cavara though and his future because of how well he's done in the league and how well he's done in Champions League. He's so highly sought after now around Europe. Would you like to see him go personally to another big European club or do you think he's still got a lot left here in Napoli to give? I know it's such a huge discussion in the social media, you know, in the media and so like, you know, where he's going to go. But I think, you know, he's in a great place right now, you know. He, he loves it here. Napoli loves him back. I mean, his his jerseys were all over the city. I was walking around in this beautiful town. And uh, do you have one? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And uh, you know, he's really well coached. And we had this conversation earlier today in the hotel that um, how important consistency is for the young player. How important it is to be in the, the, the right place, same place for a good period of amount of time. That way, you really learn, develop. And, and, and experience, right? You know, on and off the court. So uh, this is huge for him. He's in a great place. I'm super happy for him. Yeah, I don't think he could get any more love, could he, from a club and from a city than what he's getting right here in Naples. Zaza, fantastic to have you with us. Thank you so much uh, for, for joining us. And thank you for being awesome. here.